Hey, how you doing this morning? This is Recovery with Pastor Kent, and this is Heaven's Elohim Temple. What are we looking at today? One of the most important things that we have to look at in recovery is friendship. Okay, so what does friendship mean? What is the meaning of friendship? Well, the emotions or conduct of friends, the settle of being friends, its relationships, close attachments, uh, close relationships, attachment, mutual attachments, associations, bond, ties, or links, unite, or formants, lasting friendships. Uh, a relationship between friends, it's a plural or nouns, means friends. Okay, it's amity, communicate, friendlessness, coordinership, companionship, fellowship, fellow, following, feeling, closeness, affinit, reportant, understanding, humor, unity. Um, we have to understand that uh, the the Japanese term kinzoku, which is literally translated, which means family, the coordination suggests a bond between two people who have made similar communitant, who are presently therefore share the same destiny. It implies the presence of the deepest condition of friendship or lives lived to comrades from distant parts. Many of us have people in our lives with whom we feel a bond or described by the word kinkoho. They may be family members, a mother, a brother, a daughter, a cousin, or a friend from a Grammarly school with whom you haven't talked to in decades. Time and distance do nothing to diminish the bonds uh, we have in these people. <coughs> There's different kinds of friends. Um, there's common interest friends, there's history friends. Those are ones that we have a history with. Uh, common value friends, equality friends. Uh, what makes a friend worthy of the name? A commitment to your happiness is the, one of the, the most important thing and not asking you to place the friendship before their principles and they are a good influence. Um, that's what the meaning of friendship is. Um, it's knowing one another and being part of each other's lives. Uh, to know and see uh, how that can happen. Well, it can happen in many different ways. The first way it can happen is a common interest. Uh, you're both in Narcotics Anonymous. You're both in Alcoholics Anonymous. You're both in uh, a discovery group or a group of some sort 
okay so you strike up a friendship um, and you become friends with them uh, how do we attract true friends well it, it's a very difficult thing to attract true friends this is the easiest and least on paper to become true friendship one other yourself one of the favorite question comes from um, Gandhi be the change you wise to see in the world so you have to understand that that's really deep if you think about it you know um, when you have a circle of friends um, it's important to have the same goals and expectations um, William Shatner you know uh, says it the best for me he's my mentor and William Shatner says it the best for me if you want to, to be a successful person you hang out with successful people so that's what we need to do um, be the friend you want to have we all tend to attract people into our lives whose character mirrors our own you don't have to make yourself into what you think others would find attractive no matter what your areas of interest others share them somewhere simply make yourself a big target join social groups social clubs organizations and around activities you enjoy leverly the internet into fine people of like mind take action as though about it don't think about it there are four people in my life I consider family you know actually there's six you know um, my friend Andrew my friend Teresa my friend Sue my friend Steve and of course my wife you know and uh, that's an important relationship to have with your wife you know is it your best friends you know it's so important that you have that you know and in a long roundabout way I am a friend to my son too but we don't hang out you know um, <coughs> I love my family and friends you know I love them with all my heart with all my soul you know I do as God would do that's what a true friend is you know that stand with you through thick and thin high or low tide bad or good hell or heaven they stand with you and beside you and help you fight if you don't have friends like this those are what I call chum friends or chung along friends or chuck along friends or Klingons you know they they don't do your life any good whatsoever so why even hang out with them you know there are very few people in this world that you can actually consider what is known as true friends you know a true friend will never leave you no matter whether you're right or wrong they'll always stand up for you in public and stand with you whether you're wrong or right now if you're wrong 
or they will put you right later on. If you're right, they're going to stand there through thick and thin and high or low tide, you know, fire and brimstone. It doesn't matter what you go through. They're going to stand there with you and be that strong friend that you can depend on. If you don't have friends like that in your life, you need to get new friends, you know? For me, a friend stands beside me, stands for me, and stands with me through no matter what, okay? That's what a true friend does, you know? Um, I, I, I can't, you know, stress it enough that we're going to have acquaintances in our life. There's going to be people that are not even crucial to our lives, you know? They're not even, you know, part, you know? They're just there. They just exist. Now, we don't need those people in our lives because they're not conducive to being in our life and important. The ones that you need are the ones that stand beside you and str strengthen you and uplift you. When you're down, they're there. When you're feeling bad, you're there. You know? Make no mistake, you know? A friend will never leave your side no matter what. You know, that's my gist on friendship and recovery. And I love you all. God bless you.